and welcome to my next tutorial. Today we're going to be making one of these. Ooh, exciting. I know. So let's get started. Um, now, the first thing you should do is get a heart. I know a lot of you are missing that, so it's pretty sad. However, the heart in Tinkercad has a lot of um, sides on the edge. So what I did is I went and did a search on the internet and there are so many hearts that I decided to do something a little different. So if you go down to the bottom of this video and you look at the video description, there should say heart spinner link. You click on it. And then you want to click on tinker this. And then you can get started. This one is ready to go. It has all the dimensions that we're going to need for the very first step. And uh, if you want to try it with a different heart, you can. There's no guarantee it's going to work because the heart shape really does affect whether this is going to work or not. And the dimensions are going to be for this one, 64. 14 and 57.79 so we're going to duplicate this control D and we're going to change the settings over here it's going to be an outer line it's going to stay round and the line width is going to be four so I'm going to hit four sometimes it takes a while for this to adjust okay so now let's go ahead and yeah this outside heart we're going to adjust the numbers. So let's go ahead and get started with this. This one right here is gonna be 76.9. And here on the side, it's gonna be 70.14. Now we're gonna select both of them, click the letter L, and then a line from the bottom and a line from the side. There, we're good to go. Okay, so now we're gonna not get rid of, but we're going to hide the center heart by clicking on this dark light bulb there. Now we're going to need a cone. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to maximize the sides. There we go. So let's rotate this downward towards the bottom of the heart, 90 degrees. Notice I'm staying inside this blue circle. If I go outside, it's a little bit harder. And then I'm going to change to these dimensions. The height is going to be six. And then the width, this one back here in the back is going to be six as well. And this one in front is going to be 6.2. Now, trust me, I bet I've made several of these and these are the dimensions we need for this. So I'm going to, before we go on, I'm going to duplicate this control D and then move it back here. All right. So now I'm going to click on the heart and then click on the letter T so we can see what's going on here. Now I'm going to click on this cone, make it a hole. And now I'm going to select, actually, let's just select everything here. Click the letter L and then align from this direction only though. Okay. So now I'm going to move this with the arrow keys on my keyboard. I'm going to zoom in so I can see this better. Okay, there's two things that you need to make sure happen when you do this. First, you can get, you don't want it to go all the way through. So, oops, hit the wrong one. Back. Uh, okay. So you don't want it to go through. However, you do want it as close as you can. So I'm going to change this to 0.25. Okay. Here's the other thing. You see this right here? You don't want that to happen. So I'm going to change this to 0.1 now. And then move it back. Ah, perfect. I, I see the curvature here, the curvature there. It didn't go all the way through. So now we are done with this. I'm going to group those two. Control G. Great. Now let's look at this one. First of all, we need to rotate this the other direction. There. Now let's change the dimensions. Actually, we need to change something over here. Let's do that right now. I'm going to undo this. There was one more step I needed to take and I did not. So select both of these. Now you're going to click the letter L and then I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this heart, the outside of the heart because I don't want it to move. And now I'm going to click on this one right here. 
what it's going to do is going to move this one down a little bit. There. Now this is the way I want it to be. Yep. It checks. We're good. Let's group. Okay. So now let's make that into a hole. However, the dimensions are going to be different. We want this to be five by five and five again. And before we group this over here with that one, we're going to add a cylinder. We're going to maximize the sides and then rotate 90 degrees. And we're going to change the dimensions this time. Instead of just changing each dimension, I'm going to hit the shift button and drag this up and down and then click on the number five. And now all the other dimensions become five as well. So I'm going to select these two, click the letter L. And I don't want this to move the cone. So I click on that and there. Now these two are aligned in this direction. Okay, so now I'm gonna click away. Now I'm gonna click on the cylinder. I'm gonna type the letter W, see right there. Now I'm gonna put the mouse over this side so it's touching this circle or that side. Now I'm gonna click the letter D. Okay, now I'm gonna click the letter W and then click on the work plane again. These two are now face to face. I'm going to group them, control G. Now with the arrow key, I'm just going to move it over here. Now I made this heart about six times before I got it to work. So that's why I know I need this shape right here. Otherwise it will not work. It'll stick or won't turn at all. You just have to trust me on this. I'm a trained expert. All right. So almost there again, you don't want it to go through, but you want it to be close. All right, that's about right. And here on this side, okay, there's a little bit of space there. Okay, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and group that. I selected both and then Control G. All right, now we're gonna get another cone. We're gonna do the same thing. I guess I should have duplicated the previous one before doing all that stuff. I'm gonna hit the Shift button, drag this down. And then this time it's going to be five. I'm going to hit enter, maximize the sides. And then the same thing with the cylinder only, I should guess, I should just make it a solid because it's going to be solid. And then uh, maximize the sides again. Now I'm going to rotate this again, 90, and then shift and hold, and then five. I'm going to align again. Yeah, I should have definitely copied and pasted the previous one but I'm learning as well. I don't want that to move. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the W. Click there, select this one, click the letter D, W again, there. This is gonna be one piece, so I'm gonna group that. Now, before I align this, I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D, and then I'm gonna rotate it the other direction, there. With the arrow key, I'm just gonna move it over here because I'm going to use the same exact thing on this side. So that's okay. Now I'm going to group these, all these things here, letter L. There we go. If I were to click this one right here, it would turn into one piece. These two little purple ones. All right. I'm going to hold the shift button down and drag this over so it doesn't get out of alignment. And I see a mistake here. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but this shape here is not aligned to that that part of the heart. So I'm going to move this down for a second and then I'm going to ungroup this. Now I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to click the letter L, but because I don't want the heart to move, I'm going to click on it there. Now it worked. Wow. Okay. Now I'm going to group it. Control G. All right. So now I'm going to try to get this point right there. So I'm going to just use the arrow key. And for me, it's easier to see it from the side view. So I'm gonna click the letter F because I lost it. There it is. And right there. Now, now that it's aligned, I'm gonna change this to point 25 and then move it back one, two, three. That should be enough so that it doesn't print over each other. Now this one I'm gonna move with the arrow keys. I'm gonna try to do the same thing. That's close enough. And I'm going to move it back three times. Again, it's 0.25, so it's one, two, three. Now, essentially, 
All I'm going to do at this point is reveal the inner heart. If you group this, you're good to go. However, I know some of you want to decorate it. And that's fine. That's exactly what it's for. Now, do not make the mistake of putting a text in here that says, uh, let's say, Bob. Oops, didn't click it. If you put somebody's name, Bob, and you put it all the way through and you group it and you're like, yes, Bob is going to love this. He's going to love me. All that junk. When you pick this up off the printing bed, these little pieces are going to stay behind and Bob is not going to look as good as you thought it was going to. So the trick is to lift this up by a millimeter or two. The thickness, by the way, is five. That's I'm not sure if you picked up on that. And as long, now if you group it, look what happens. Control G. It doesn't go through, but you still see Bob. Now, if you want to get really fancy, you can add another heart. Um, I believe I looked for a swirl, swirls, and images, and you can convert these on convert.io and then import them as SVGs into uh, Tinkercad. And I think we're good. Don't forget to decorate and uh, like and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, go ahead and click on the links from the Amazon affiliates that takes you to different filaments here. Have a great day.